Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Power Addiction. If you're new to the uh, channel, please click the subscribe button. Um, go check out my other videos. I think you'll like them. Anyways, today is about the Ford all-wheel drive system. The PTU sucks. Um, the other day, my truck was making a clunking noise. And I went down and I looked and I found that one of my axles, the bracket was snapped. And the bearing on that was broken as well. It was grinding or whatever. So I replaced it on the passenger side. And then on the driver's side, I know that I had to replace the axle because I had some wear on it or whatever and the seal was leaking. So I ended up getting an axle a while back and it was the wrong axle. So I put the, the old axle back on with a new seal and it was still leaking. So I got the new axle for the driver's side. Good thing I did because of the clunking that I was hearing was coming from the where the pivot joint, the where it pivots, it goes like this. Um, when it's spinning, it rotates, whatever. It was only moving in the this direction and not this direction. So it would clunk every time it would try to go whatever. Anyways, I'm making noises. So anyway, so um I got the driver side and the passenger side axles replaced. That's in the video. And then when I was done, I found out that the PTU was also bad. Um, how I did that, I disconnected the rear drive shaft. I put the new front axles on and I had my truck up off the ground and then I turned it on, put it in gear and I can still hear grinding and clunking. So the next day I went and I got a new PTU and I installed it um, and basically all the noises went away and everything's fine now. But Ford has a big problem with the PTU units on the all-wheel drive systems. Um, there's pictures and you're going to see them here in a minute. There's pictures of the PTU inside after uh, I removed it and broke the casing open. You can see it's like gunk, gunk in there. It's goopy. Um... The fluid is no longer fluid, it's like paste. Also, the gears were ground down on the, um, I want to say the pivot um, that goes to the rear axle. That was ground down. Um, anyways, watch the video and let me know what you think. Alright, so I'm pulling off the, the tire first. Side. Same as yesterday. Inch and a quarter. Fifteen sixteenths. Picture bar, where are you? Put something underneath there. Alright, now I gotta get that bolt off. Half inch. Really 
easy. We're gonna save that for later. Cause I ain't buying another one. It's fucking like three hundred dollars for that axle. Three something. I don't remember. The reason why I'm changing my axle on the passenger side. It's got a crack here and it was missing a bolt there. Um, and my transmission. As you can see on the shaft here, there's like metal grinding looking. The new shaft comes with a little bit different looking. This part's a little skinnier. But other than that, it looks the same. But you can see this is what the bracket's supposed to look like. So sure the bearings shot in there the, whatever you gotta take this down by both there's three bolts right there I'm gonna spray some all right so this is the front down pipe and this is the back down pipe for the turbos they both look like they have to come off um, they're a pain in the ass they gotta come off so that's what I'm gonna do next also the drive shaft needs to come off which I did yesterday that is up back let's see if I can do this um, it's up in here right up in there I already disconnected that yesterday Fucking bracket, I'm trying to get off right here. Goes to the turbo. Over at the neighbors watching them tear his car apart. <laughs> you know, Mr. Uh, drag Strip Man's just smoking all kinds of shit out of this car. Can't figure out why it's breaking. It's them fucking. It's a Ford. Joe, it's a Ford. It's a Ford. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with drag racing. It's a it's fucking got Ford. To do with drag he's, got, he's, he's going to work for Ford tomorrow. No, tell him when as I... As much as he's done this thing. <laughs> when, tell him when I'm done, I'm taking it to the drag strip to make sure it's good. Yeah, when he's done, <laughs> he's going to take it to the drag strip. So this is the old one. And this is the noise it makes. And this is the new one. And this is the noise it don't make. Say no noise. So, I gotta put that bitch back under here. So I got it up in there. I actually had to go up through where the drive shaft is. The new PTU where the drive shaft is connected to it. Right here. And then the new PTU, the new PTU with the new shaft, right there. That's the new shaft going into the PTU. This is the new PTU. Everything's reconnected. I don't wanna tell you how to get it in there, but it was a bitch, not really. I mean, it wasn't as bad as people said, but. I'm gonna move you back here and you're gonna see. So, so this space right here, in between this and this, I just took the drive shaft off, pushed it up to the right up here, and then I took the cross member off here, the the front um frame or whatever you want to call it the fucking front part the front here too took it off <sighs> took a pry bar I had my neighbor put a pry bar here after it lowers down like an inch and a half had him put a pry bar there get it down another half inch pull down flip this through straight back and then I had to like wiggle it a little bit to get the um the back side through and once I got it, I flipped it down and it fell right down. So, 
So this is the front axle. It's supposed to move every direction and it doesn't. It gets jammed right there. See, it can go this way, but it can't go this way. I want to cut it open and see what happened in there. All right, so I took the uh, cap off the old PTU. I'm gonna actually take this apart. I don't know if you can tell, but that's like literally goop. I'm gonna take it apart just to see what it looks like on the inside and see what damage is done. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's cracked gears or something in there. All right, so now I'm gonna crack the case and see what, what the inside of this PTU looks like. No fluid left. Awesome. The whole thing. It's a little bit thinner down here, but it's still like fucking disgusting. Look. It's nasty, man. And it looks like the gear stripped off here. 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 It's the pinion gear going to the back. I believe that's what that would be called. It's all fucked up, man. So the rest of this, I'm assuming, was okay. It's just this gear right here. See how it's flat right there? Like right here, it's flat. It's not supposed to be like that. It's like unevenly flat. This big one here. The big one's missing chunks too. It's fucked up a little bit. And there's a piece of the casing right here. Maybe that's for me. I don't know. Then you can see metal flaking. Nope. There's crack casing here. The rest of the gears look semi okay. The bearings. Maybe okay, seems like. But I'm sure this thing is fucked up because those two are grinding together. So conclusion, um, the PTU was bad. The metal inside on the gears were worn down and the gear lube turned to sludge. So I think what's happening is people are saying the gear lube is turning to sludge and that's blowing out the PTU. I think the gear lube may be turning to sludge because the metal shavings are mixing in with it and thickening it up. Um, the metal was like powder, so I would imagine that would thicken up the, uh, the gear lube. And you'll see in part of the video um, where the gears are actually ground down. Uh, why that's happening, I have no idea. It happens to people only 2,000 miles off the showroom floor. Most are between 20 and 60,000 miles, so I'm going to have to start changing my... PTU oil um, every 20, 25,000, 30,000 miles, no more than that, um, just to maybe save it. But it's crazy how um, the metal is so soft that it just starts to grind down. Uh, maybe they need to re look into redesigning that gear or something. Not really sure. But um, anyways, let me know what you think of the video and subscribe.